Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we've got a bit of an escalation to run and it's actually in Jitter. So I thought I would just do a quick little vid doing a, like a live run because we've got 8 minutes and 43 seconds left to run this. So we're in the Skybreaker. And man, I, I couldn't believe like it was in Jitter. Very, very rare to get one there. So let's just run this real quick. So it's a Garista Scout Outpost, a 4 out of 10. I'm in me Ratten Fit here as well for the Anoms, but... We'll go. We don't even need to switch a tank on with this thing. It's just so ridiculously overpowered. Definitely the fastest ship, in my opinion, that I've got for running this. So we'll just grab the cruisers. Just lock a couple up. Make sure we're overheating. Then we're literally just going to head towards the gate after burn our own. And watch the explosions. <laughs> Man, this thing's absolutely nuts. Absolutely ridiculous. It's got its shortcomings, obviously, but I think you can. For the speed this thing runs, like, especially these four tens. So that's pretty good. Yeah, let's just blast straight through this. See it chaining away there. Man, oh, it looks so good, eh? I might even be able to grab the Overseer's wreck as we go past. Make sure we're overheating all the time. Might as well look at that just for the lulls. That's something I normally go for. A bit slow there locking these frigs. Again, keep overheating. Just will take like basically no damage with this when we overheat. And there's always one, isn't there? Where was he? Was he back? Yeah, so we missed him from the initial. Let's just spam my jump here. But yeah, that's uh, mega easy. Like this, like you gotta agree, guys. It's like literally nothing easier, is there? Give this a quick repair. So we're gonna stick with the electro punch because it's the most damage. It's like three sixty, three fifty when it's heated. But we'll have got a little bit of a trek to go. So if we just overheat the AB, oh, we'll try. We failed. Oh, because it was repairing, right? Yeah, so 355.8 DPS with this. The range is only 33 kilometers and the telescope 41. So let's just hold for now. But what happens is the by the time the telescope's taking tons of damage, everything's dead around it. And we can just like literally go straight to it. Not worry about uh, tank or anything. There's literally no point putting like an active tank on this thing. It's just there because... And really, like, sensor boosters, like, I would like another one, but the the gun cycle time is a little bit longer than the the target time, so you just balance them up and it's pretty nice. Yeah, you see all the, the even the cruisers are getting melted there. Fingers crossed we get a good run. I didn't actually see the time as well that we had left, five minutes, so yeah, it's about three minute run time. Probably about four minutes by the time we blow this up. This is the only downfall of the ship, like the single target stuff. So it's not the best damage to kill this. But I think all the damage you make up, like not killing the rats or whatever. Because a lot of the time, like most cruiser ships would just go straight for the telescope and loot. Fingers crossed we've got a, a good drop. I did another one earlier. We just got this Pith C AM. Not worth too much. A couple of mil. I'm hoping for that sweet Pith C drop here. Yeah? And then we've got... We've actually got tons to run, guys. I may tag these on to the end just quickly. Because uh, these ones are low sec as well. We've got to go through uh, Asbanon to get to these. Whatever you call it. That system. Abazon. So we might take the Kiki. See what happens. Right, that's that one done. And we've got rip loot again. So not the greatest. So yeah, I think I'll just quickly tag in the, the explosion of the loot in the in the other ones maybe. Or show you guys what I would do to just to go through that low sec. Because I really, I haven't got me um, main here. Zach, he's in null sec right now. So yeah, let's, uh, let's switch ships. And I, actually, I'll just run you through the, the whole thing. Alright guys, so just about to jump into Abzon. 
And we're not scouting or anything, so we're going to try the Night Walk Drive cloak trick, just in case any of you guys don't know it, if you're a newer player or whatever. So it's really good for evading gate camps, and it usually is in here. Um, the ship itself's not really, like, worth a lot. It's like, well, a couple hundred mil. The, the pod's pretty expensive, but, you know, we'll be able to get that out pretty quick. So, yeah, let's see if there's a camp on the other side. Let's jump in. So what we need to do, as we're aligned, we're going to like, activate both of these together. That's not even a camp, but I'll show you just in case. Uh, just on the off chance there was a camp, right? So we're going to, as soon as I hit a line, we're going to press both of these together. And we're going to wait for the cycle to get round of the micro warp drive. We're going to uncloak and then just spam warp and that should get uh, right in. Oh, there actually is a couple of bits here. I was on the wrong overview. That could have been uh, <laughs> a bit naughtier. So right, let's um, just align. Air warp drive cloak. So we can't be locked pretty much unless you get a really unlucky server tick. Let's get ready to uncloak and spam. There you go. Then you're pretty much instantly into warp. So that's how you can avoid gate camps and stuff rather than doing like the 50 jumps, right? We are, like I say, in a pretty cheap ship, so it wouldn't matter if I died. But yeah, just uh, something to keep in mind if you want to try the shortcut route. Obviously, it's much better to have a scout, right? But like I said, I've got Zack in Nullsec right now. Making some content down there. Got a ton of stuff to show you guys. It's going to be pretty fun. But yeah, we've got a couple of deads to do. Um, oh, one of them's run out. So we've got one in Clyde here. So I'll just jump through the gate. See, they've got eyes on the other side as well. Unless that's just an empty ship. So yeah, we'll do the one in Clyde, which is high sec, yeah, and then we'll go to Tama and do that one. And we'll see if we can get some good loot. I'll not show you the run, guys, pretty much, because I've you've seen the Kikimora do them, like, quite a lot. Man, there's a den there as well, we should do that. And uh, yeah, I'll just skip to the, the good bits where we either get loads of loot or we'll get nothing. Alright guys, just finished the second one and we've got a Pith Sea Medium Shield Booster, which is really nice. I use those quite a lot. And obviously the Overseer's Personal Effects, not the best drop, but still, that Shield Booster is more commonly used than a lot of things I do. So it's not just like a dead module like those uh, amps and stuff. So yeah, let's move on to the next one, which is in Tama. So this one could be a little bit spicy. Alright guys, quickly again, we've just jumped into Amazon and I can see in local... Like, just tons of suspects. So this could be that there's a smart bomb in camp or something on High Cotter, which is really common. So what I've done, uh, I've, like, pre-made these. So I've got a bounce just at the back of the gate so you don't, like, warp into the smart bombs. So I'll just show you that now just so you can maybe make one yourself. You know, just come in in a cheap frigate, like, just with a micro warp drive fitted and uh, make yourself a bounce, yeah? So... Basically, it's just a couple of hundred kilometers off the gate, or somewhere warpable next to the gate, right? So let's have a look. We can actually give it a scan on the way. Yeah, so there's quite a lot of stuff there now, you can see. Some of that might be at the Citadel, though. Yeah, so there. There's a, there's a pretty big camp there right now. Doesn't look like there's any smart bombers, though. So we're free just to warp to the gate here. Let's have a look where these guys are sitting. So that's a, another good little way just to avoid the smart bombs, right? And there we go. Nice and safe. Cool. Okay, rapidly approaching the Tama gate. There's got to be a camp in here, guys. Like, there has to be. Let's make sure I'm on the right overview. So I've got the agency tab ready so we can walk to the site if there's nothing here. Let's jump in, take a look. Might need to do the trick. Ooh, there's quite a few nerds here. So we've got... Not really a camp, but have a Punisher. Don't that's going to do anything though. So we're free just to warp. To our 410. Got the D-scan ready. Probably chuck a bit closer, depending on where the dead is. And we can just keep an eye out for people coming close or whatnot. Even if someone does jump in, I think we'll uh, have a good little fight. So yeah, if someone jumps in, I'll get back to you. This is the last one we've got to do today. Let's hope it's a good one. I think we've been uh, pretty bad luck, actually. Oh, yes. Nice little pith seed there. 
Yeah, so not too bad. We've got a few mods, but that Perth C sort of makes up for it. Only been going for about an hour, so yeah, not not great income because all the deads were dead, but you know, it's uh, the RNG at the end of the day. And hopefully you guys picked up a couple of tips there from getting into low sack and out of low sack a little bit safer. Usually if I'm in the Kikimora here, I would uh, use an afterburner just to mitigate more damage, just to make it a bit safer. And uh, yeah, no cloak because it takes a little bit longer to lock things as well, which is a bit of a pain for this. But yeah, that's it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed and I will catch you in the next one.